my name is Joanne and I'm from Cupboard Crest and I'm here with Frank Ponte, celebrity chef and food artist. And uh, today we're going to make a salad with daikon crust, I think. Daikon crust, what a beautiful crust this is, isn't it? Yes, it's, from, uh, it's originally from Asia and um, in, uh, in Korea and Japan um, it's combined with uh, raw fish. Um, but it makes such a pleasant salad. Mm -hmm. um, any time of year, that it it's, mm. it's nice to talk about it that way as well. Yes, absolutely. Yes, we can use it. Uh, we can use it in salad. Can use it with fish. We can use it with a lot very versatile. Again, you know, that's a very. Uh, the thing is about this. Very crunchy as well. It's very nice. It's got a nice texture as well as, well as being a bit radishy. Uh, it's also got a very nice, nice texture to it. So uh, it's a very good thing for a salad. So what we'll do? Uh, I've got some little radish here, which actually. Uh, slice very finely and to pour into cold water, just to crisp it up a little bit, so it's nice, nice and crispy. So we get the, some radish inside here. And you know, it's, it's nice, you know, if you don't have to eat radish only like that, you know, just slice in a salad, it's actually, it's actually good. Then, we've got yellow tomato. Doesn't have to be yellow, it can be red as well. We have some yellow this morning, so we use some yellow. They're nice and sweet. Oh, that's a nice contrast. Daikon crisp can go in. There we go. It's very nice, very, very good for your health as well. I heard. Is it you told me that last time? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I mean, anything that you that you eat that's a plant vegetable or a grain is really wonderful for you. I think it, the Japanese believe that you should have um, thirty different servings, um, tiny ones, of course, because yeah. that would be that would be rather filling of um, different kinds of. Uh, plants and, and, uh, and vegetables and fruits a day. So these plants could help towards that. So we've got the salad, always salt and pepper. Don't forget your seasoning. So a bit of uh, crushed salt, a bit of pepper, you know, crushed pepper. I like my cracked black pepper in a salad because you can feel it a bit more than, uh, than a white ground. But so you don't have to. You can use a white ground pepper if you want to. How are you uh, going to finish that off? Well, just a little bit of oil. You see, nothing, nothing very complicated, but I've got hazelnut oil here. Oh, so yes, it's, it's, smell that. It's, it's very nice. Mm. It's uh, very nice and, and nutty. So the, the, the combination, you know, the food combination, all of that will be very nice. So we just drizzle a little bit on top of it. Then, thank you for the spoon, Joan. You've been watching me using my <laughs> finger, did you? <laughs> That's why. Okay, I understand. <laughs> Your whole hand, I don't my know. My whole hand. <laughs> <laughs> Look how uh, nice this is. Oh, that smells gorgeous as well. Nice and easy. There we go. We finish it off with a bit of walnuts uh, because we use hazelnut oil, so that's quite nice. And a nice little touch to remind us. Fantastic. We've got a very nice salad here. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you.